Morning guys, how are you doing? Um, I've got a very special plant here that I'm tucked under. You can probably see it's been raining and sprinkling a bit. So my little camera lady is not going to be protected, but I am going to be from the rain, which is good. And that, <laughs> but um, no, this plant that I wanted to show you is one I've known about for many, many years. It's a beautiful plant. I remember when I found my first one, it was actually just around the bend over there. And I was like, wow, I finally found this guy. And that I've been looking, I'd seen in a few field guides few little books way back in the day it was years ago now probably seven years ago and I was super stoked and that and then just you know you see, see it once and you start seeing it again and again and you start getting a picture of its habitat and everything like that and then you start seeing it in a lot of places that's exactly what's happened over the years so anyway this plant is Bulwera um, Eupermartia lorena Eupermartia lorena Eupermartia Eupermartia I don't know, I always get muddled up with these Latins. Call it what you will, I'll write it in the description anyway, so then no one will be as confused as my lip service here. And that, yeah, but Bulwera, um, it's also called native guava or copper laurel, as some of the common names. Um, this is a plant that's found <clears throat> um, in sort of wet eucalypti and stuff, where you kind of by the sea just here, so you can might hear that ocean in the background, but you kind of find it in that wet eucalypti areas where it's um, kind of a bit more dense and you're getting a bit more of that wet um, feel to the place and that um, not quite rain foresty or anything like that but um, yeah a bit more wet eucalypt um, so yeah this is one of two species there's a small ball wearer as well and that is uh, a eupermatia Bene maybe benedicta or something I'm not sure but I've only seen that one twice or so ever and I haven't seen it for a couple of years and that was up in Queensland, southeast Queensland, and that. But um, we do. This is one that you find in Papua New Guinea as well. This plant. Um, so anyway, let's get on with seeing it. So I'm going to go over a couple of things here because it's a really, really special plant, and I love it so much. And that. But I'm, what I'm going to do here. You know, we're in winter now. Just um, just at the start of July, pretty much, and stuff. So this is pretty crazy at its fruit, and not everyone's fruiting though. And that, but you can see here if you take a look here, let's bend it down. Look at all these fruits here everywhere fruits, big fruits. You can see how big they're getting. Look at that. You'll see them and they'll get a little small. These guys only flower, real beautiful cream flower, and it only does it for one day. So when that flower is gone and stuff like that, you, you hardly ever see it. I haven't seen it very much and that over all the years, but you know, this one clearly is flowered. A lot and I've still missed it and I'll walk around this truck a bit and stuff but um these fruits are edible and stuff like that what you want to do is usually you'll leave these guys to fall on the ground you've got to make sure they're really soft this one's getting pretty soft I have eaten them off the tree but when they're extremely soft um, I have heard years ago I think one of the first things I did here is um, if you eat them when they're not um, ripe They'll actually give you a diarrhea but we'll find out as we're looking that is also it is an astringent particularly with the leaves and stuff like that and it will help with diarrhea and that but what's interesting right so i i always just assumed that the fruit was um uh, just edible fruit they'll have a lot of seeds in them though really sweet and sticky um probably spit the seeds i'll be spitting the seeds and that's what i do and stuff like that um I probably won't I was gonna pick that one but I think I'll just leave it and stuff like that because I'm seeing a few here and I'm not seeing any fruits at all which means it's sort of the last of the year and this is although it's fruiting abundantly I'll probably yeah I'll probably just leave it and stuff like that because I just want to make sure everything's cared for and stuff like that and be responsible and respectful towards these things um, these plants and the, the ecosystem at large um, but in the fruits, they actually have a multitude of antibacterial that's been found and stuff. I've been researching and scratching a few things. There was really nothing else that I was finding for ages. And then I started stumbling across a few things and I found out that they actually have a, quite a lot of broad spectrum antibacterial. Uh, in some cases, antifungal and stuff like that, even the antimicrobial. I have um, seen a few whispers and that sort of stuff, depending on how they're extracted and how they're um, worked with and stuff like that. But um, so, uh, the fruit does have that um, about it. There's 
is also antiseptic properties particularly i'll be sort of more with the leaves and stuff like that you can get these leaves and dry them out and stuff like that they if it wasn't for this wet i can still smell they have an aromatic quality about them and if you think about what i did find was that uh, a few years ago was that i did find like one paragraph it said um uh, it related to it being relax what I equated to being relaxing for the stomach definitely had stomach affinities um, there's some antiseptic antibacterial um, and um, it helps with diarrhea so I was kind of like okay how do we pull this apart a bit better like it said stomach complaints and I was like mm, stomach complaint can be quite a few things and quite a few reasons could be infection um, bacterial it could be you know just eating issues or it could be gas and bloating things like that and stuff but what this seemed to be is by telling me it's diarrhea helps with diarrhea tells me that it's astringent and you can taste a bit of that astringency in there the aromatic qualities could lead to something that is both the antibacterial and microbial potential and um, the relaxing sensation too like mints and things like that our aromatic herbs and stuff like that they generally have a relaxing um, effect on the body and stuff like that and a lot of them when they're oil put into um, when their constituents are broken open and that particularly like the essential oils they obviously get highly antimicrobial but that can be damaging to the system if taken the wrong way and that so yeah but this is showing these sort of things so I'm kind of going okay it's astringent by the diarrhea probably um, relaxant that's settling spasm in the tummy so wind and bloating and it's also probably used for infection of the stomach you know so if you've got bacterial infections or stomach flu and stuff like that um, and that, that actually goes not just the leaf and the um, it it is also uh, oh, what was it the fruit sorry <laughs> I just wanted to say that um, it's also in the um, stem the bark all the way down to the root so from bottom up this plant is i'd say more medicinal than it is for a food source and that uh, you know i used to look at it kind of like a fruiting berry i'd be like wow fruit cool bush food but now i'm like medicine very very amazing beautiful medicine and stuff like that um now also what i'd be considering too is its ability to help with respiratory system even the upper respiratory you know like if you had a sore throat you know it's potential with gargle and stuff like that being at a antiseptic and stuff like that you know we can gargle sage and thymes and things like that and many herbs that we can use for an antiseptic gargle there's even some of the grapes native grapes that you could use for a gargle and stuff like that um but yeah but the point is is this this the, the amazingness of this plant has just blown me out because it's something I was so stoked to see in the first place and it's been one of them plants that have been really special to me and important to me and I'm very protective of them that sort of stuff so you know I'm not going to take any today of anything whatsoever and stuff like and you've got to consider if you're in a national nature reserve etc um, where you're at and the legalities of the physical sort of stuff but also be considerate of the ecosystem itself you know forget about the human side as you know but be considerate of the fruits drop for animals and birds and they disperse that seed or what have you how many fruits are on here is there any other ones fruiting um are they looking healthy and abundant you know how much or where is there here should i be doing anything with it and that and then kind of um assess from there and really feel what you should be doing because we've got to protect these things and once we know We've got to take a responsibility to protect these um, plants also. So I'd hate for anything doing these videos. If anyone were disrespecting the plants and that sort of thing, I'd be very upset. And I'd prefer to have the videos shut down and I'll take them off YouTube and not do them again. Um, if that's the sort of thing going on and that. So um, if we can just take care, acknowledge them, come out, say hello, get identifying them, can see the seasons and stuff like that with them. And, um, but most of all take care of them and everything come I mean, and that and then yeah um sorry <laughs> some people behind me <laughs> um yeah but know that 
the potential of this plant and the beauty of this plant is extraordinary and stuff like that. And it's kind of one of the things that's really hard to pry open Australian bush foods and medicines and stuff like that. And it can be very difficult to take some, but um, that's why I'm here to try and help out with that. And as long as we're respecting the place, I'm happy and stuff and acknowledging the country of you in traditional peoples and traditional non-human peoples as well. Always good. All right, guys, I think that's about all for now. Thank you very much again. Take care, comment below if you have anything to say or if you know the plant or anything like that. Thank you again for watching, bye.